As violent crimes go up in Cleveland, police are worried that the age of suspects is dropping. More teens being booked for crimes from carjackings to murders. News 5's Nadine Abusada tells us what the Cleveland Police Foundation is doing in hopes of making a difference. Voiceless, hurting, lost. Those are the words that Angela Bennett uses to describe the troubled youth. Our kids don't need incarceration. They need healing and they need an opportunity. Across Cleveland, law enforcement has seen a surge in crime and a change in the suspects. What we're seeing is it, it's the age is coming down to those kids who are getting involved in things like gangs. We're starting to see recruitment uh, as young as 13, 14. Just this week, a 14 year old was arrested in connection to a carjacking and an 18 year old in a New Year's Eve murder of a Cleveland police officer. In carjackings alone, the Cuyahoga County prosecutor says they have increased by 22% in 2021, putting part of the blame on the gangs. So what you see is some of the crime is almost forms of initiation. If you want to become part of our gang, you need to carjack a car or you need to, you know, hold up a 7-Eleven store or whatever. The issue is deeper than that. It's multifaceted. Factors include the effects of the pandemic, home issues, and distrust in law enforcement. We want to address youth violence. We need to make sure that we have a village with the support for our kids so that we can prevent them from going into these paths. And even if they do, how do we then help redirect? In order to bridge the gap and address problems at the root, the Cleveland Police Foundation began programs where kids can get to know some of the people in uniform. Yeah, they may wear a blue suit, but they're they're human just like me. And holding conversations about change, one of which is the three-team alliance, including the Cavs, Browns, and Guardians. Um, so we're constantly engaging, hearing students' voices, allowing their voices to be heard, and it'll give them and empower them to really be that driver of change. While they are working on the youth, the officers are also working on how they can change their approach. It's a time of transition within the Cleveland Division of Police. They, they know these issues need to be looked at, addressed, and I'm proud to say that they are. Through these programs, they have helped 50 to 100 kids per year, reminding everyone that kids are people too. If you breathe life into the children, then you will receive life. If you breathe death into the children, that's what you will receive. Sometimes they just need some extra love. Reporting in Cleveland, Nina Busada, News 5.